Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jimmy and welcome to my new tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to be going over how you can add some pre-keyed elements into your gaming edits. Now before we get started, there's two programs you're going to have to need. The first one being Adobe After Effects for the compositing and the second one being Sony Vegas for the editing. Okay, so for the pre-keyed elements, I am going to use Video Copilot's Action Essentials 2. However, there are free alternatives if you don't have that and I will put links in the description for you. Okay, so let's get started. You can see I've already got my clips recorded. The first one being this quick 4K orb on Dust 2. And you can see I've recorded the entire frag part here as well as one different angle of someone dying. And this clip here is what we're going to be compositing our blood onto. Okay, so quickly before I go any further, this will work with any game as long as you can record alternate angles like this here. So this can work with all of your Call of Duty edits and anything else. So let's get started. What I'm going to do now is quickly edit this how I would, so I'm just going to split these frags up and split the clip right here, quickly drag this into here, and then separate our audio from our video and move this gunshot across. So what we have now is when he shoots this third person here, you can see the camera cuts away quickly and then it goes back. Okay, so what we're going to do now is quickly add in some velocity to help alter the speed. Okay, so the reason we're not importing our clips directly into After Effects and doing it all there is because in Counter-Strike Source you edit at roughly 500 frames per second or so for the frag parts. And our pre-keyed animation is only about 30 frames per second usually. And this will mess up and the pre-keyed footage will look really laggy and you'll just have to mess around with frame rates a lot. So if we get the editing and the timing out in Sony Vegas first, it'll make our lives a whole lot easier. So what we're going to do is right click on our clip and go to insert remove envelope and go velocity. Now if you're not too confident with velocity, I'll put a link to my velocity tutorial on the screen as well as in the description. So check that out if you want me to go more in depth with it. So what we're going to do is pretty much create a point when he gets shot, create another point and slow it down. So what we get is the camera going really slow after he gets shot. And that is looking pretty good right there. So that is all we have to do in Sony Vegas at the moment. So what we're going to do is bring our cursor up above our timeline here, click and drag to set our render region like so. Go up to File, Render As, and for our Save As Type, we're going to select AVI. Now for our template, we're going to go down to Default, Uncompressed. We're going to click on Custom, and we're going to make sure that our video rendering quality is set to Best, and our video format is uncompressed and that way we're going to get the maximum quality while transferring between our two programs. So we're just going to call this something like smooth and that's going to quickly render out and then I'll cut back when we're inside of After Effects. Okay so here we are in Adobe After Effects CS5. Now this is easily translatable into CS3, 4 and 6. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just get our smooth clip here, which we just imported. We're going to click and drag it down to our new composition here, and you'll see it automatically creates it all to the right frame rate. So you can see I've also gone ahead and imported a blood burst and a powder hit. Now we're going to use both of these to simulate the blood coming out of him. Now I'll have a link to these exact two in the description. However, any more you will have to find by yourself. So this blood burst here, what we're going to do is just import this and you can see it's just a big blood splatter. So what we're going to do now is start moving this around and trying to make it look like it's coming out of him. So we're going to go forward to the first point in the game where you see blood, which is right here. And we're going to move our clip, which is looking pretty good right there. And just trim this up a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Now what we're going to do is select our blood layer here, press S to bring up our scale options and scale this right down. We don't want it too big so it looks really unrealistic. Now what we're going to do is enable our 3D by pressing this button here under the cube. And if you don't see that, just press F4 on your keyboard or toggle the switches and modes and that box should appear. So now once we press R to bring up our rotation options, you can see we get the X, Y, and Z. So what we need to do now is rotate this on the Y rotation a little bit and you can see it kind of angles it backwards into the frame. And this is because it's not completely side on, so we don't want it to look that way. Now what we can go ahead and do is rotate it on the X axis to point it up a little bit so it's coming out of him. And there we go, that's looking pretty good right there. So if we just have a quick preview of this, you can see it's not looking too realistic yet. And we're going to do something about that right now. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, select our blood layer here. 
and we're going to go up to our pen tool. And now what we're going to do with our pen tool is pretty much just trace around the body of the terrorist here. And if we complete this mask here, you can see it automatically creates a mask and it will delete everything that's not inside of it. Now if we press the M key on our keyboard, we can change our mask to subtract and it'll delete everything that is inside of it now and that is what we're looking for. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we can go ahead and do is keyframe our mask path down here by pressing this stopwatch and moving forward a few frames and just kind of continuously lining up our points to match around his body. Now to select our individual points, we just need to hold control and shift and we can adjust each point and pretty much keep it traced around his body like so. Okay, so the longer you spend on this, obviously the better it's going to look. So don't rush an effect like this because you honestly want it to look as realistic as possible. So spend a bit more time than I am and your result should look quite a bit nicer. Okay, so once we've done that, let's just keep it at about there and we'll finish this off by moving this down. And there we go. What we can go ahead and do now is select our blood layer again and press F on our keyboard and this time it'll bring up our mask feather. So what we can do now is just change that up to about 10 or 15 pixels and that'll just help soften the edge and make it blend a little bit better. So now that we've done that, what we can go ahead and do is just preview this again and it's starting to look a little bit better because it looks like it's coming out from behind him. So one last thing we're going to do with this blood, you can see it's quite a different color to the blood that the game is producing. So what we're going to do now is select our blood layer once again and go up to effect, color correction, and we're going to go down to curves. Now what we're going to do is just pretty much increase the contrast and change up the colors a little bit like that. And now with our layer selected again, we're going to go to effect, color correction, and all the way down to tint. Now you can see this just pretty much desaturates it. So if we bring back the percentage a little bit, we can start getting that kind of dark blood look. And again, spend a bit more time adjusting your colors and you should be right. So that's looking pretty good for me right there. So one last thing we're going to do now is go back to our project tab up here and import our powder hit. Now you can see this is just pretty much a big explosion of dust and we're going to make this kind of look like an explosion of blood. Now you can use anything from smoke to dust. I just kind of like a powder hit because it has those sparks happening and I think it looks kind of cool. However, it's your personal opinion and you don't have to do everything the same as me. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is just line this up and drop it below our blood layer. And there we go. Okay, so as you can see, we need to help blend in these colors again. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go up to effect, go tint again, and we're going to change our black color to something a bit more red. Now what we're going to do is go effect, color correction, and curves again, and we can start to add a bit of that red color in, like so. Now this may look a bit too bright, so what we can go ahead and do is go to our alpha channel up here, and just pull this down a little bit, and it'll help fade it out and help it blend a little bit more. Okay, and one last final thing we're going to do to our powder hit is we're going to speed it up a little bit. So we're going to right click on our layer here, and go to time, time stretch. Now we're going to change this to about 70 and you can see it'll just speed up the clip quite a bit and that's looking pretty good right there. We don't really need to worry about masking this out since it is so quick you won't really notice it anyway. Okay so now that we've done that what we can go ahead and do is bring this back into Sony Vegas. So to do this we want to go up to composition, make movie, we want to go down and make sure we've got our best and full resolution here. Now we want to go to our output module and select AVI for the format, go format options, and select uncompressed. And again, this is so we can keep the maximum quality. And now you can call this whatever you want. I'll just call it smooth clip one and output it to the desktop, click render, and that shouldn't take too long. Okay, so now that's done that, what we can go ahead and do is import it back into Sony Vegas. Now you should see it'll line up exactly with the previous clip we just exported. So all we need to do is delete that old one and bring in this new one and you can see it's now got the blood and you can see it looks pretty good at the moment however with a final color correction and color grading you can help it blend a lot better so that is pretty much it for this tutorial i hope it helped if it did be sure to hit that like button to help my channel grow in the next tutorial i'll be going over something similar however i'll be going over dust and dirt particles and wall hits so if you're looking forward to that be sure to subscribe so you're notified when i upload it so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.